the Bronco is junk. It's gonna blow up. All of these different things. The haters are after this thing. And they have been since the very day it came out. And since the very day I took delivery of it, everyone that doesn't like this thing says the same exact things. The roofs are going to leak. The four build quality isn't up to par. And the motor is going to blow up after three months of driving it. Well, I've owned this truck for a year now. And let me tell you from an actual person who's owned it, whether these things are worth buying or not. And are they really junk. Let's step into the Bronco real quick and fire it up. We have 12,700 miles on it. It has officially been over a year since I've taken delivery of it. I bought this in 2022 November and it is now 2024. I waited 18 months for my Bronco to arrive. It has all the bells and whistles, the Lux pack, the Sasquatch package. This is an Outer Banks and it is, if you missed it, Eruption green. We'll let the thing warm up for a second. It's extremely cold in Wisconsin. It's about 25 degrees outside right now. And good thing today is my last day here for a week. But with that being said, gotta let it warm. Everyone has the same thing to say about the Bronco. And it's that the build quality isn't up to par. And well, the Bronco deserves some of its hate but it doesn't deserve most of it. And let me tell you why. So Ford hasn't built the Bronco since the 90s. And with that, they have done little to no research and development on the Broncos until they decided to make this. When this Bronco came out, it had a decent amount of problems. I've had my truck for about a year now and I haven't experienced any of them. And let me tell you why. It's because social media has ruined all of your guys' perspectives on new vehicles. When a new vehicle comes out, there is going to be issues with the new vehicle. Ford had a couple issues. They had issues with their roof manufacturers due to COVID and due to supplies. And also they weren't up to build quality and build par. Those roofs leaked. They had insane amounts of noise, but come year two, which is what this is, Ford fixed those issues. One of the biggest things I see about the Broncos, even still in my comments, is the engine's going to blow up. They've been blowing up. For one singular week, in one singular production, there was a manufacturer defect that affected maybe 0.1% of Broncos that have been produced. And people are saying that they're blowing up. They're not immediately got corrected within the week period. Bronco gets a lot of unfair critiques and I'm here to tell you that none of them are true. If you bought a 2021 Bronco, of course, you're gonna have some problems. There's gonna be some things that go wrong because Ford is doing their research based off of those first couple batches of vehicles and fixing them as things go on. You're seeing the recalls. The recalls for the most part are the dumbest little things that the government requires Ford to send back redo like seat belt latches or things along that extent it is not something that is a catastrophic issue just because the vehicle has a recall doesn't mean it's a catastrophic failure which for some reason is what people are thinking with the broncos of course they're selling out they've sold out and in reality the haters who hate on these things is a very small percent of the population. That's right, my Bronco has had nearly no issues. And I say nearly because there's a couple of software things that have come up with new vehicles. These things are loaded with software and there's bound to be a glitch or two in the system. It came, it went, and well, I haven't really had any major issues or really any complaints from this thing that people are talking about. One of the main things is, like I said, it's either a soft top, hard top complaint or it's a complaint with the motor. Now addressing the big thing, which is safety, because there's a fake AI video going around, which people are believing, that has a fake crash test where this thing completely crumples. It's a very clearly fake video. The Bronco, of course, yes, it's not the safest vehicle out there. The doors quite literally come off along with the roof. If we're gonna complain about safety of the Bronco, complain about the Wrangler as well, because that's what it's built for. If you want safety, go buy a Volvo. The Bronco still had to pass all the EPA standards, all the US regulation requirements to be built and produced. So there is, of course, a level of safety. It still has the airbags, airbags in the pillars, crumple zones, all of these things that are going to protect you in a crash. 
but one other thing that people don't understand about crash testing. So of course there's a fake video going around, but the real video also shows the Bronco crumpling when it hits something. It's literally made to do that. If you know how physics work, there's supposed to be a crumple zone. The more delay there is in the reaction from the point when the initial hit happens and then everything in between, if it starts to crumple, which is what they're supposed to do and designed to do, you will be protected. Yes, of course, your vehicle is going to be destroyed. But a vehicle can be replaced. You, your life, is what is being protected. When you see all these older vehicles like a Jeep, a Jeep hits something and nothing happens. Well, yes, nothing happens to the Jeep, but I can guarantee you, yeah, you're, you're gonna be feeling it the next day. So people are believing the fake crash test, but also the real crash test, it's made to crumple. There is supposed to be a crumple zone. People always have to have something to complain about. And if you're thinking about buying a Bronco, do it. You're gonna like it. You're gonna love it. Cause I love mine. Ford should merely be paying me. Ford, if you're watching this, hit my email. I've covered almost everything. There's one more thing that remains. And the final criticism of the Bronco is that it's a Ford Escape. People really think that this is the Escape. Newsflash, this is based off the Ranger platform. This is a proper truck platform. For those who are thinking that this Bronco is based off of the Ford Escape are very misled because the Ford Bronco Sport, the Bronco Sport, which is a completely different vehicle from the actual Bronco is based off the Escape. Well, the Bronco, the real Bronco, this right here, is based off of the Ford Ranger. Yes, this is a proper truck just like the old ones are. There's still people saying, but it's not an F-150 like it used to be. And to that I have to say, do you realize how big the Bronco already is? If you've never seen a Bronco or Bronco Raptor in person, these trucks are massive. People already say they, they're too big for trails. And they are, these are huge. The Bronco Raptor is massive. Imagine if this was even bigger and even wider. It wouldn't fit anywhere. It wouldn't be practical. It wouldn't be useful for what Ford built it for. That's the simple explanation as why it's not a Ford F-150. It's a Ranger because they wanted to keep the size small, but it is still a proper truck and the Escape is, well, is a Ford Bronco Sport. It's insanely cold, my fingers are freezing. Make sure you go check out some other videos on my Bronco, and as always, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future videos, because there's a new car hiding behind that door right there that we're gonna reveal in the next video.